Please. Good morning, students. Um, Mr. Miller and I are working together to present some uh, collaborative learning with his class and my class. And so I want you to pay attention to the following message. And there's some uh, questions at the end of this video. And of course, we're using Google Classroom to document your answers and your uh, comments. Thank you. Hello, today we're going to be reading about stolen street art. Is public artwork up for grabs? Anonymous artist Banksy stencils his distinctive street art all over the world. There's a long history of other parties profiting from the British artist's work. People often photograph his art in public spaces or reproduce it. His work sells for hundreds of thousands of dollars in galleries and at auctions, but reproductions of his work can also be found on a variety of ordinary products from stickers to tote bags. Recently, a British greeting card company called Full Color Black took legal action against Banksy. The company features photos people take of Banksy's trademark street art on greeting cards, but it didn't work with the artist to obtain them. The company's officials argued that because Banksy's art is so widely copied, it's legal for others to use his trademark work. Some people claim that Banksy trademarks his work like a brand logo to avoid copywriting it, which would grant him exclusive rights to reproduce and profit from his works. Unlike a, a copyright, a trademark allows Banksy to remain anonymous. Banksy says he approves of people copying or reproducing his work for personal amusement, academic research, or activism but he believes that Full Color Black is trying to steal his brand in order to sell fake merchandise. In response, Banksy launched an online store called Gross Domestic Product. On this platform, the artist aims to retain his trademarks by selling his clearly branded items featuring his work. However, Full Color Black stands by its decision to publish images of Banksy's public art on his products. What do you think? Should companies have the right to reproduce public art images for profit? You're going to craft an argument for your debate with the following prompts. Thank you. Uh, while you were listening to the assignment of Mr. Miller, uh, I also want you re uh, to remind you that you need to go to Google Classroom and answer the argument uh, comments and send them back to us so that we can go ahead and grade your work. We hope that you're doing uh, good and that you're being safe and you're following instructions uh, to this topic so that your grades can be uh, hundreds. Uh, we also want to thank you for all your responses. And Mr. Miller's going to say a couple of things. Well, we just want to say we're really happy to see all the beautiful artwork that you guys are creating. We're thanking you for that. We got a bunch of artwork that's filling up four online galleries. So let's just keep it up and show what West Coast High School can do. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm.